Okay. All right, so I'm not doing a very good job of uh, videotaping, I can tell you that right now. Um, there's a ring you got to take off. I was going to take the track and everything off and get to this thing, but I've kind of decided against it at the moment because I just need to... Oh, God. There's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I want to take it off, but I didn't. I felt that I should, but uh, I just want to get into here and see what is actually going on. And in order to do that, I just want to take this ring off of here, or get this piece here out, and see what I can do. I'm hoping I can just pry it up off of there. Oh, no. I mean, I'd be ruined that thing. I got a feeling I'm gonna be tearing the whole entire track off of there just to get that thing out. And it's gonna cost me five grand. I guarantee you, it's gonna cost me $5,000 to fix just one. Damn it. Okay, so I think these hubs are too far gone. I am actually just going to uh, have the boys pull them off of there. This one. Um, we got this 7530. I've got a part that needs to go in the 7530 and uh, I'll show you what that is it's for the heater and I have to go bail hay. Yep, bail and hay. Uh, so what needs to be done here, Joe, is take all these little these little things here. The plugs? Yeah, you can stick that ring back on. Just stick it in there. It goes, the open side goes between this okay. opening so you can put that on. Just stick it on there and then you got to take this plate off. Okay. That plate right there, that comes off, and then there's a socket that goes in there, and then you take the grease out, and then you got to force the grease out of it to get the hub, off, the thing off of there. So, or you just change the heater thing on the 7530. Grab that tripod before he runs it over. I got a lot of things going on today, so I'll probably just let these guys do this, and I'll go and bail. And, uh, yeah, I got a new tire for... I got a new tire for a uh, hay wagon that I paid 175 fucking dollars for. Yep. And uh, I'm not happy with it, but it is what it is. So we'll just do that. And Cody, he's coming up with the 7530. And I'll show you. This little guy here is what we're having problems with. The 7530 has a... Hold on. A little gizmo it looks like this, and it's electronic. And this goes underneath the seat. So when you're adjusting your temperature for inside the cab, that's good. You adjust the temperature for inside the cab. This is on an electric motor, and it allows water or fluid or coolant or hot water to go through there. And well. My thoughts are that the old one is broken. It's a pretty common part to go bad. So it's underneath the seat. So being that's underneath the seat, that means you guys gotta open the doors, move all that shit out of there, pull the seat out of there, take the floor up, find that piece, and replace it. I'm gonna go check some hay and go bail it. Okay, so I'm bailing. Right now, the last that I'm going to bail for the season, I believe. My knotters are working good, my baler's working good. Uh, I'm bailing second cut hay that I should have bailed 
you know, back when the sun was shining, but you know, you get going on other projects and you end up doing things you don't really want to do, but you do them anyway. I'm actually making ruts right here. It's a very wet spot in the field. I know I'm making ruts. I can feel I'm making ruts, you know, when the tractor's doing this thing, but you know, this tractor's 375 horsepower, so it really doesn't feel it in the engine. But instead of me talking, I guess you can get the wide angle view of what I see when I'm actually bailing. And I'm going pretty slow. No, not too bad. I could see that there's, if you look back there, there's a few uh, spots that are not so nice. Um, it won't take me long to bail this. I've got about 50 acres to do. And then that's it. We're done. I'll just, I don't think I'm gonna mow anymore because we're supposed to have snow on, say, tomorrow tomorrow night we're supposed to have snow into monday uh four to six inches i guess and uh that's it done there's just no reason for me to go playing around and in, in hay anymore i've got one more farm that could real two more farms that could really be done and i really should do but if we're going to get snow it's just the hell with it it'll have a jump start on next year you know but uh yeah just dropped another bell. <laughs> I came in off the highway right there. I, I'm not really supposed to do that, but I did. And anyway, there we go. So, two, uh, two bales on the outside rounds. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Especially for a farm this size. There's only about five acres this one field here. Um, I don't know what the bales are weighing because for some reason my scale's not working, which is really weird because it worked the other day. And we're about to make a bale. Right about now. Tied it's not. And I still don't get a damn readout on the scale. So, anyway, yeah. So today's been action packed. I've got uh, a 7530. The part that I bought was the wrong part for the heater so that didn't go down right um, the part for the I tried to get that hub apart on that track skid steer and I couldn't get the hub apart so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the boys take the whole entire thing off uh, there's just you know what those are the, the worst of the worst hubs that John Deere put on their skid steers and I don't know if they reman them uh, from, I don't even know what the company's name is. I think they're Eaton's, but whoever made them, I know there's aftermarket ones, but no matter what, it's going to cost me three to six thousand bucks between the two of them. It'd be like, that might be, it's like six thousand. It's over three thousand dollars a side. I'm a little upset. Uh, I know I looked on eBay and I could buy planetary gear sets, but the ring gear is bad. And uh, when that happens, it just basically it's a joke. It's time to say, hey, you know what? Enough is enough, and then put the new one on. Uh, yeah. So anyway, that's what's going on on my end of the of the spectrum there, and I guess that's it for this video, really, because you know you guys are tired of listening, watching me bail hay and stuff. I'm sure, and it's time to get into the repair videos. But of course, I was busy working on an embroidery machine today instead of actually repairing any farm equipment and I didn't show that because nobody cares nobody cares about those embroidery machines and we're gonna make another bale which is just fine because this is actually producing pretty good I'm hoping to be done here yet I'm still no oh, got a broken string so on that note I'm going to uh, slow her down and shut that off and go see what the problem is on the other side I don't know why, but it missed a, missed a tie. Oh, Wesley, what do we got here? No, oh, it's there. What the hell? Yeah, it must have got the eye. I don't know. Stuff's a little damp, not terribly damp. But let me get up on top here and we'll see what we got. It may have oh, there it is. What the hell? It stripped off. Ow, maybe it didn't. Oh, there it is. A 
Oh, something happened. I've never seen that before. It's hooked around the damn fly arm or the wiper arm. There it goes. I had a little cluster fuck there, but it's working. Oh well. We'll see what happens on the next go around. I've had to do some repairs to that one before, but anyway, we'll see what happens. Woo. Come on. I think it must have pushed a slice up because I don't want to have the. Hell, I hurt my fingers. Well, we do have somebody living here, I think. I see there's a van. This place has been pretty much uninhabited for a while. Not too long, but long enough. Anyway, I gotta get both hands on this. Okay, so it's official. I'm done. Uh, yeah, this baler produced on this farm, the home farm, uh, 4,371 and uh, yeah, 4,371. That's what we produced. So. I guess that's the end of baling. Uh, we're supposed to have eight inches of snow, and I don't see getting back on the fields uh, till next summer anyway. Or next, yeah, till next summer. A lot of things have to be done to these balers uh, during the winter months. So I guess that is just what we're going to call the end of 2019 baling. Uh, we finished on the last day of November, I believe. I think tomorrow's December 1. And uh, that's it. So let me uh, get my hands on the wheel here. And I'm actually going to turn on the winky blinky light because that's what you want to do sometimes. And uh, down the road we go. Uh, I just bailed about 60, I guess 65 bales. 60, no, 63 bales. So 63 bales of uh, actually pretty dry hay. The last bale came off was 1,259 pounds. So that's it. This concludes, um, yeah, uh, 2019 hay season, hay straw and corn fodder. And uh, yeah, there's a video going to come out. I'm going to make it probably tomorrow on uh, the new baler and the wear parts that we need to be replaced, the ones that wore out, the ones... Yeah, the ones that need to be replaced. What are my thoughts on the wear from corn fodder versus just hay and straw? Uh, it's kind of uh, a little more than I expected, but nothing terrible. So, you know, that's just the way that is. So, anyways, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Yeah, thanks for more.